Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh friends when we have this TNC connector and we want to make this connector and we want to install this coaxial cable how we can do it when we receive this connector it comes in these parts the connector shell the inner female pin back shell seal lock washer and nut these two parts are here and there is a back shell back nut here to tight it then we have this seal here to install in the panel because it is panel mounted when it is installed in the panel after panel we install this lock washer then the nut how we can prepare this connector let's start first of all Take this RD223 cable, cut approximately 1 inch, 1, one, one and a half inch, cut it away. When this cable is open ended for a long time, the outer end is corroded. It have corrosion, it have bad connection, it will make bad connection if we will use this one. We will take this back nut and we will insert here. After inserting this nut here, we need to remove the insulation from this wire. This connector have two different points. The first thing, this metallic part, it will connect it with shield and this metallic part, it will connect it with inner signal wire. Until this corner, there is a collar for this female pin here. So we will insert this wire after this hole from this point to this point so we need if we measure here 15 millimeter and total 15 millimeter wire the outer insulation will removed we will remove until here very carefully using wire stripper or any sharp knife just only cut the outer insulation and remove it there is a internal shielding braid don't cut that one yes we removed it now using tweezer unbraid this shielding we have to fold back yes that's nice so we removed 15 millimeter and now out of this 15 millimeter we will leave around 9.5 millimeter after 9.5 millimeter we will remove the remaining insulation from here Yes, we removed it. Now our this measurement is 9.59, 9.6. Now we have to insert this wire in this entrance so that this signal wire must remain insulated. It should not touch to this metallic housing. For that purpose, we need to apply a little amount of solder to this signal wire. We will thin it slightly, yes, so that its front end, so its front end will remain straight and now we will enter it. If it is hard to enter, we can use some sharp knife and we can taper its insulation rotate it yes now this wire the inner signal wire is visible from this hole it must be visible
connect to the female pin and connect with this metallic housing it will not give continuity if it is giving continuity that means the internal signal wire is touching to this shielding wire and that is that will not uh, good work in that case we will remove the wire again from this housing and we will inspect that any conductor part is not touching to the outer housing here if it it will touch it will short the signal with this outer body because this is the return line this is the signal path so that is the reason we applied some amount of solder before inserting in this female pin let's insert it and solder it solder it when the soldered now remove the excessive solder you can remove excessive solder by the soldering gun or anything or using the soldering iron as well now it is okay so insert now this prepared contact here inside now it is entered properly and now put this braid around this back shell bring this back nut here using a torque wrench give 25 inch pound torque if you don't have torque wrench then you can use some plier to give a hand tight a slightly tight don't apply too much force otherwise it will cut the inner shield so now our connect connector is ready now we can check the continuity just only take any metallic piece and put it inside take continuity with the inner pin inner contact it is not making a short circuit now we can check the other end of this wire take continuity with the inner wire with the inner wire that's good take continuity with inner with outer outer shield with outer shell that's good so we prepared the connector very nicely now we can install our connector in any panel remember to install the seal here seal here then insert in the panel after that install this lock washer after that this nut tight it and then we can connect the coaxial connector male connector to the female connector so it is now good now we can check the connector we install this male connector to this female and now we can check continuity inner wire with the inner it must be separated it must be insulated with the outer wire now take this outer wire this outer with this outer shield with shield and signal with signal so our connector is now good it is working good I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh